G'day guys. Hey, uh, it's John here calling from Top Catch Takapuna. I uh, just want to go and introduce to you guys uh, soft baiters, especially about uh, Z-Man products and fishing them in a different way that you normally would with uh, jig heads and different style of hooks. If you guys have obviously seen a lot of these, and if not, they're called worm hooks. Uh, they're designed for weedless rigs, so you ever figured, ever wondered why these lures, these soft baits, have got these little belly flap. It's because it's designed to put these hooks in them like such. So the way we're going to rig it up is. I'll quickly show you this. So, get your trace, do a loop knot. If you're not sure, just go on YouTube and check out Lefty's loop knot. That's one of my favorite loop knots for lures. So it's just literally a half hitch and where the tag end comes out of, which is towards you guys, from away, I'll go back in the opposite way, like such cinch it up together, I shorten and make that half hitch smaller by just pulling on the tag ends, slide them up so they're side by side, literally almost, uh, yeah, just about the same size as the uh, hook eye itself. Now just three wraps, one, two, three, like such, and then straight back through your half hitch. Lock that down, bit of spit, I like to put my thumb there so in case if I slip it doesn't get into my face and I don't hook myself in the face. Now that's like that. Now cut your tag end off. I like to leave at least about two mils just in case for any slippage. I um, always like to prepare for the worst. So now you've got yourself an articulated moving hook that has all the freedom. Now the rule of thumb is, with these things here, your hook should be half the length of your lure. Anything more than that, you're going to have a lure that's going to be half the length, which has got a lot of movement, to having it too long and all you're going to get is that, just a little bit of a tail wiggle. So the more movement you get, Seems like a small hook compared to a uh, big bait, but a fish that's going to eat something that's going to um, yeah, get right up onto the hook is going to be a good sized fish. So if you want to go and catch a whole heap of small fish, then use small baits and small hooks. But if you want to go get the bigger stuff, best way to do it. Now, my favorite way of fishing the uh, Z-Mans, two ways. One's a top water lure. Z-Man's float, so they do a wicked top water walk the dog action if you slow work them. If you high stick your rod and crank the crap out of it, I mean, you wind it as fast as you can. This thing will skip on top of the water and dance like you wouldn't believe. Like the movement on this thing here is crazy. So, show you how to rig it up. First thing you need to worry about, that point there and that point there. So, measure it up into the lure itself. So it's literally from here, and it comes out through there. So you're putting the hook point up to here, and then dropping the hook point out through there. So, like such. Straight down the center. And then straight out of the chin, like that. Simple as that. Slide that all the way up to your hook eye, like such. Now, that hook needs to be embedded into the body. So if you have a look at this bend down here, that needs to come out here. And the great thing about the Z-Mans, they've got a wicked channel that your hook point can actually sit inside and hide. So this is where the belly flap opening comes into play. So what I normally do is I put my fingers on either side of the channel and I leave my Z-Man natural. I'm not pulling on it, I'm not bunching it up. I'll leave it like such, and where that bend is, is where the hook point needs to drop into. So, like such, I use my thumb as a guide, so it's sitting there nicely, and drop my hook straight down the center, and because I've got my fingers on either side of the channel, 
it's gonna you know you're not gonna prick yourself in the finger um, now it's sitting dead smack bang but if you notice it still wants to slide down and drop now what I do is just to rig it up so it locks it off I bring it forward I drop it down just to pinch and expose the hook tip like such that's all you need nothing more than that now that's a weedless rig right there all right so that's weedless now if you saw that I just kind of like pushed it down pretty hard and I got myself in the finger same thing when a fish hits that lure that belly flap that hooks gonna get pushed all the way down this will expose itself and you will get a real nice solid hook up when that grabs it good thing about these is Z-Mans I mean I've never seen a soft plastic that can do this I mean a product that can stretch like this and re return back to its normal state and still fish like it was straight out of the packet after 10 fish I mean I've, I've I love this product so casting this out landing in the water I wind up the slack and all I'm doing is just low holding my rod tip low and I give it a couple whips and slow winds at the same time and this will start dancing side to side and wobbling and you get some wicked top water takes if you guys love your top water hits man there's the best way to do it so if I got into a wake up, beds are working, I see three kingfish and about a thousand kawai. What I'll do is I'll cast this out. As soon as it hits the water, I will crank, I will wind this as fast as I can. I'll make this skip on top of the water. The faster you wind it, the harder it is for the kawai to hit. Now having a lure rigged up like this, the kawai will tend to hit the tail end and you won't get hooked up onto a kawai. Now what will happen is the kingfish will be looking from underneath, seeing a skipping bait, 10 kawai chasing after a lure, and they'll wonder what's going on. Lure goes back out again. So you might have to cast three, four times just to get the, you know, get the kingfish fired up. Now what will happen is as you're cranking it as fast as you can, the kingfish will get fed up with it and they'll go, well, if you guys aren't gonna eat your food, we will, and they'll push them out the way. They'll totally ignore the, the kawai push them out the way and there's no way you can out one a uh, kingfish if you miss the hit cast it out straight away I mean like it doesn't have to be close they're fast moving targets the faster you get it back out again the better the hit rate as soon as they hit this will drop back and then you get yourself a real nice hook up the great thing about the Z-Mans is how soft and squishy this is now that there has got like a real good penetrating like gape on it and the holding of this uh, of this hook is uh, pretty amazing so see how that slide back up and I got that little tag just by sliding it up so literally having this down now once I'm done with it I'll push it back up and that little tag end slides back up here again now it's locked into place again just by doing that 